and some drier conditions are on the way for the day tomorrow. So overnight tonight, temperatures will dip down into those mid-30s. We'll see cloudy skies, some patchy fog possible again, that mist possible as well. For your Sunday, temperatures starting out in the 30s, they'll climb into those upper 40s for highs. Now while tomorrow will be mostly dry, there is going to be that chance for an isolated light shower during the second half of the day. And then that chance for an isolated shower will continue Sunday night into Monday morning. Now for for your Monday, temperatures start out in those low 40s, and it's going to be another warm day as temperatures will climb back up into those low 50s for highs. We'll see chances for rain start to increase Monday night, with rain likely for the day on Tuesday. So overnight tonight, mainly cloudy skies with that moisture still left over in those lower levels of the atmosphere. That drizzle will stick around. That patchy fog will be possible as well. Temperatures dipping down into those mid-30s. For tomorrow, not as warm as the past couple of days, but still about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than where we should be for this time of year. As temperatures climb into those upper 40s for highs. We'll see scattered clouds, isolated shower possible. And then we keep this mild weather in the forecast through the middle of next week. Temperatures 50s Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, low 60s for highs. And we have a possibility of beating, passing the high record for that day, which is 61. But with that mild weather, we see scattered rain showers throughout the day on Tuesday. Few showers possible on Wednesday. And then winter returns for the end of the week. Temperatures drop back down into those mid to upper 30s for highs. Thursday, a few rain and snow showers possible, and then partly sunny skies Friday and Saturday.